Python is one of the most popular languages out there, and I've tried what seems like hundreds of courses to try to relearn this language. The problem is, I have a short attention span. Wait, what were we talking about again? Okay, jokes aside, number one, I have trouble finishing certain courses if they're not engaging enough. And number two, I don't really want to waste my time learning irrelevant information. I'm currently a software engineer at Microsoft, so I was able to sniff out which courses had a real industry value, and not just the fluff that a lot of courses try to sell you. Anyways, that's why I made this video, to show you guys the top five courses that I found and that are actually worth going through if you want to learn Python. So let's get into it. So to me, the most obvious place to learn a new skill is always YouTube. I mean, it's free, you can learn at your own pace, and you can basically cherry pick the types of things that you want to learn. But here's the problem. You don't get any sort of credibility or certificate from learning that way. Sure, you might gain the skills needed, but you're not really able to put that on your resume with any sort of credibility. The other problem is also the solution that I mentioned earlier, which is the cherry picking part. If you're learning Python for the first time, for example, you might not know what you don't know. So if you want to skip to data structures or functions, well, maybe you can't skip to that module because you don't even know that it exists in the first place. But of course, usually when I start out, I always like to do my initial research on YouTube. Instead of jumping right into a paid course, it's better to at least get your feet wet there. And then you can progress to a more advanced level of courses after you've decided that this is the language for you. So going into the actual courses on YouTube that I've seen, one of the most notable YouTubers that have great Python learning resources are Programming with Mosh. I think I've talked about him on this channel before, but he literally puts full length courses out there. Like he literally just put a two hours beginner course out there two months ago. And he has a playlist of really valuable information on his channel. Channel. I mean, look at the views he's gotten on his past courses. He definitely knows what he's talking about. Another good channel is Free Code Camp. They have hours of tutorials on Python, especially for beginners. And honestly, if you just search for Python full course in YouTube and just pick one of the most popular courses, you really can't go wrong. But remember, these are just for getting your feet wet. They won't come with certifications and they definitely won't give you the industry experience that you need. It's literally just pure coding information. So just keep that part in mind. So I've talked about Codecademy on my channel in the past, and they have a really good selection of Python courses. This one in particular covers many different bases of learning, like classes, modules, and dictionaries. So the thing I like most about them is that they don't just focus on tutorials, but also physically coding up solutions throughout the tutorials as well. I think the practical aspect is really, really important. A lot of courses don't always focus on this, and you get bogged down in just learning terminology or watching someone else code, which isn't really helping you in your process. So here you can see that they have coding challenges throughout the course that you'd have to pass before moving forward. And I tend to like this style because it holds you accountable to actually finishing the section and understanding the material before going on to the next module. So I think this part is especially valuable if you're a beginner. Another cool aspect about Codecademy is that it's self-paced and they have thousands of reviews from other students, meaning that you can kind of count on the material being pretty decent. I won't say too much more about them because I have videos in the past that talk about them, but I would definitely recommend checking them out. It's very well put together. Now the only problem is variability. There's not a ton of variety or a ton of selection. It is just like basic Python, it's not going to have a ton of different options for you to learn Python with specific libraries or like different templates or frameworks. So just keep that in mind when you're learning. Okay, so DataCamp is next. When I came across DataCamp, I saw that they had the most variety of courses available for Python. This is a really good thing because most courses are just focused on teaching you the basics, whereas DataCamp focuses on how to apply those Python skills in an industry standard way. And again, with seven years of experience in the industry myself, I kind of have a BS radar for when courses are just trying to teach you for the sake of learning the language or trying to teach you so that you can actually use it in a practical way in the industry. So for example, you could always start out with a beginner course like Intro to Python, but if you've already watched the basic tutorials or already have experience with another language, then I'd just recommend digging deeper into courses like Intermediate Python or even learning machine learning with Ski Kit Learning and Python. So many super valuable courses that you can't really find anywhere else. So let's just jump into one of the courses. It's also just so clean visually that it makes me super engaged with the whole process. I've definitely watched courses where it's a dude just writing code in an editor and they're just talking the entire time, but DataCamp creates their modules like they know their audience, which is really nice. It's people like us that just want to have a deep understanding behind the practical uses of the skill. See, like even in this course, we're learning Python along with other libraries like matplotlib. 
so you can understand how to use it in the context of an industry-like job. So this sort of learning is particularly important when you want to jump to the next level and when you really want to understand the context of why you're also learning Python. And you can even get started on this platform for free, which is the really nice part. It's really hard to find courses that are affordable, so you can count on this one being reasonable. Okay, so you've probably heard of Coursera. They have a huge library of courses to choose from, and they're essentially giving you the option to get an online degree. So this is a stage where you've gotten a little bit more serious about learning Python and getting to the next level. This is where you wanna have real Python credentials on your resume or on your LinkedIn. So this course in particular is especially helpful, Python for Everybody Specialization. It's still a beginner level course, but it's very comprehensive. It takes about two months to complete and you're actually spending 10 hours a week on this course. It's a lot longer, but if you thrive in a university-like environment online, then it's definitely the right option for you. At the end, you actually get a certification for it, which means that you can put it on your resume or LinkedIn and it'll actually help you stand out that way. And this can actually be used towards a master's degree. They've listed eligible online degrees that might accept the completion grade for this course. So for example, Ball State University or even University of Michigan. Okay, and they also offer entire bachelor's degrees, by the way, I just saw this. Now, of course, it's not necessarily through Coursera, this is just a platform that gives you the option to take actually accredited university courses. Um, but they show like different courses such as Dartmouth Engineering, University of Colorado Boulder, and also Berkeley Engineering, which are very, very good schools. So of course, I didn't do this online degree option, but I did stumble across it as I was searching. So instead, I looked up reviews for you and found this article, and they broke down the pros and the cons really well. So the short answer for them is yes, Coursera is worth your time and money if you are after career-focused education education with certifications and skills that you can boast about in your CV and resume. So the things that you'll love, it'll give you university and industry credibility. It'll also give you certificates and a degree. It'll also give you practical and career focused information and then financial aid and discounts and things like that. The things that are maybe cons in this aspect are that it's not always free. I think a lot of people get deterred because these sorts of resources can get really expensive and then also less entertainment value. This will be kind of like your typical university lectures. It's not going to be as exciting as like a data camp, for example. Okay, so last but not least is the Google IT Automation with Python course. Now, of course, you can also find this in Coursera, but I wanted to focus more on the accredited Google aspect. It's a six course series that'll teach you the following. So you'll learn how to automate tasks by writing Python scripts. This is really important because it's actually something that I've done on the job on the fly. So I think it's pretty important to understand scripting. You'll also use Git and GitHub for version control, very industry standard. You'll manage IT resources at scale, both for physical machines and virtual machines in the cloud. Again, very industry appropriate. And then you'll also analyze real world IT problems and implement the appropriate strategies to solve those problems. And then it also has a section on the skills that you gain. But the cool thing is it gives you a shareable certificate that you can add on your LinkedIn afterwards. And after you're done with the course, you'll also have these resources at your disposal. So you'll get resume reviews where you can improve your resume and LinkedIn with personalized feedback. And then you also get interview prep. Now I haven't tried these specific aspects, but it sounds like it's a really good option or an extra nice to have after you're done with a course. Now, the best part about this course, which I've kind of mentioned in the past about just learning Python versus learning Python for the industry, I think this is a common theme that I keep repeating, but I keep repeating it because it's pretty important. So for example, here are the tracks that you'll end up taking if you want to finish this course. There's a lot of practical modules like using Python to interact with the operating system or even troubleshooting and design techniques. Again, all very common on the job. Google just has really good courses out there in general. I mean, they're Google, so it makes sense. But yeah, there are so many other courses out there that I could probably give a runner's up prize to, but I just wanted to stick to these five courses because they really stood out to me in terms of the type of material and the variety of material that they had. You'll definitely get a really deep understanding of not only Python, but also understanding how to use it in the context of different systems and libraries, etc. So if you eventually end up learning how to use the cloud, for example. Building apps in Python and deploying them is super vital to know when you want to work in the industry. It'll definitely help you get closer to that goal of getting hired and just learning a really cool language. So good luck on your journey and leave a comment below if you've actually tried a Python course that I haven't listed here because I'm really curious to see what others have been working on too. All right, well, good luck. See ya.